Grungard won the Dan Grungard was really, really incredible. And, um, I don't know how I've never seen anything like together. it. I've never seen anything like it. Oh. And now we have some random guy on the stage. Yeah, yeah. someone's just... Oh. Do we need to call him for security? Or Guys, is it cool? Is there something that we should be doing about all yeah. this? Right now? Sure. Uh, I oh, know, he seems pretty friendly. Yeah, he seems nice. Yeah, the fans seem to like him. He doesn't say much, though. No. Oh, hi, no, Mark! Does this work? Oh, yeah. Three selfies! <laughs> Here's our guest star, Millie Amel. There she is. Oh, you should have seen the way she took over Pinewood. <laughs> she thought she owned that place. She thought she thought it was Pinewood. She thought it was MGM. <laughs> Metro Goldwyn Millie. <laughs> She's actually Chelsea's dog, my youngest daughter. But since we've all been, you know, together for so long, and then she comes out to Malibu, I think of her as my dog. And in lieu of grandchildren, that's all I have. I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna keep getting pets until they give me a grandchild. How many people have seen Star Wars here? Uh, all right, well, if you'll remember back, when the droids take the escape pod and, you know, go, go uh, towards Tatooine, they cut to me out in the desert in that outfit in the pictures you go, what's with the Gilligan hat and the poncho? I, I never saw that because this was the scene that was cut out. He's out, he's working on the motion evaporators. He sees something in the sky. He takes out his macro binoculars, I remember it said in the script. And he looks up at the sky and he sees two little, or just a, sort of like a glimmer. He's very excited, he runs and jumps into the land speeder. And it tells one of the droids, the one that has the binocular heads, come on, come on. The, it, I saw this on YouTube. It's a deleted scene, right? I, 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 I. Okay. Anyway, he blows a gasket and he goes <laughs> flying off to Tashi Station. And here's what I thought was interesting about it, the fact that it involves character. He runs into the station and there's Anthony DeForest as Fixer, there's Koo Stark as Cammy, and there's Garrett Hagen, who's here, as Big Starklighter, yeah. And several things that you learn, I think, are important, you know, for me, for character. First of all, everybody ridicules Luke. Ah, oh, Wormy, he's been out in the sun too long. Nobody respects me, okay? I'm not popular. There they are, okay. For those of you scoring at home. That's Garrick as Biggs. There's Koo Stark. See, there is another eligible young woman in the galaxy that's not your sister. <laughs> what a terrible loss that was when they cut her out. And then, of course, Anthony DeForest as Fixer and me in my goggles and Gilligan hat. There, thank you so much for illustrating that. Over here. Okay, now he's saying, did you really say Carrie? Let me tell you something about this. This was printed in a book, Famous Movie Flubs. Here's several things you ought to know. In that scene, we were at a, a sound stage at Shepperton, which was not soundproof. Every single sound in that scene, I mean, they took out the entire soundtrack, and every sound you hear, every clink, every walk, Everything is created after the fact. So when George saw my lip flap, he said, what were you saying there? And I said, I don't know. I remember looking around like, and I went, oh, there she, as in, there she is. Oh, there she. And he said, well, say that then. And do it the way you did it. So I did. The microphone's here. Oh, there she. As in, there she is. George hates in-jokes. For me to call her Carrie, I'd have to get it past George, which I couldn't do. And number two, uh, it's sort of insulting to me that someone would think that I would sort of inadvertently just forget where I was and call a character by their name. 
I mean, come on. I know I'm not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree, but I ain't that stupid. But thanks for asking. <laughs> yes. Oh, you tricky thing. Do I have more lines in episode eight than I did in number seven? Because, you know, also, you know, everything gets, you know, everything gets picked up on the internet, right? Everything's news. Yesterday during a talk, and I said, so, and then when Daisy, uh, who plays, um... Okay, that, that's what happened. Give me a second, it'll, it'll come to me, right? And then repent, on the headline was, Hamill forgets Ridley's character's name. You know, like, I, you know, anyway. So, you know, I had a momentary, wait a second. But what I loved was the guy that did the, the follow-up question is, what's her last name? I said, well, her last name is, oh, boy, you trying to trick me. No, I love the fact, this is, you'll love this. You go to all this trouble. Some of you had to leave jobs, save and scrimp and save to come here, you know, maybe thousands of miles away, and get people to watch your pets. Is she gonna be gone? Because you love Star Wars so much. <laughs> and, and look at all these faces, these lovely expectant faces. Mark, please, please tell us something. <laughs> One little morsel about episode eight. Anything, just, you know, you can mouth it. Tell us about you episode nine. Something about episode eight that you went to all this trouble, you know so much about Star Wars, you want to know something about episode eight, you spent all this money, and here's the funny part, and I know you'll love this. I'm contractually forbidden to talk about it. It's that funny. It's funny. Because you spent so much money and time and effort, I can't talk about Star Wars. I love it. Uh, I guess it's not that popular with this crowd. It was an amazing day here at Star Wars Celebration Europe, and tomorrow we have even more planned. We're talking Santa Claus, Lord, Great Park, and my spirit animal, Carrie Fisher, will appear in some form or another for stream tomorrow. That and tons more interviews and surprise guests on our stage. It all starts tomorrow morning on StarWars.com and on our YouTube channel. On behalf of all our guests, I want to thank you for watching along with us at home, and we will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. for another full day of the Star Wars show live from Star Wars Celebration Europe 2016 on StarWars.com. May the Force be with you!